Hey guys, welcome to another Daily Tip episode here. Today is Friday, February the 13th, 2009. And um, today's video is actually uh, a request. And um, the request comes from uh, a uh, person posting a comment on one of our uh, couple weeks ago episodes, a drum sample or drum replacement uh, episode, where I added a plug-in inside of Logic to replace the snare drum inside of Easy Drummer. Uh, this person wanted to know how you can use the same plugin inside of um, Reaper. Now I assume he was talking about the Windows version of the plugin and Windows version of Reaper. However, I don't have the Windows version of the plugin so I can't show you inside of Reaper uh, on Windows. So um, instead, I've gone ahead and downloaded the Mac OS X beta uh, version of Reaper and um, I've already uh, replace the kick drum just like in the uh, uh, other tutorial and I'm using the same MIDI file I exported that MIDI file straight from Logic and imported it into Reaper here and um, uh, you'll notice I have the 8 Pro Tools 8 skin um, on Reaper here you can download that from the Reaper's website so um, first thing is this plugin does work inside of Reaper um, the one I have is an audio unit version. Uh, I think the Windows version is a VST, but it should work just the same way inside of um, Reaper on Windows. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play this file. It's got the stock snare. The kick has already been replaced, like I said earlier. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a listen to that. So you'll notice the snare does not sound very good. Um, it sounds really thin. So the I'm going to go ahead and replace that snare because I'm I'm not too fond of it. And um, I'm going to replace it with one of the snares that I recorded in a past video. Uh, it was the actual sample creation video, actually. So if you don't know how to create a sample, definitely go back and check out the sample creation video. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the snare track. I didn't label these, so uh, if you were actually doing this uh, for whatever project you're working on, you'd probably want to name these so you know which tracks which. Uh, but instead, I'm just going to go ahead and look at, look at the levels to find out the snare. It's a sn this track right here is a snare, which is actually the one right after the kick drum. And uh, to add an effect, you're just going to click on one of these little effect slots here. And then since, like I said earlier, the plugin that I have is an audio unit, so I'm going to go to the audio units folder and find that plugin. It's called App Trigger 2. I'll put a link to it in the sidebar. But uh, yeah, you, to load this tr uh, plugin to your track, you can, you can either hit OK or you can double click on it. And now I have the App Trigger um, plugin loaded on that track. Uh, as you can see, it looks the same. Uh, if you click this little UI button, it brings you up a really nasty looking thing. It's not graphical. I like the graphical interface, cause I'm, so I'm keeping that one. And uh, to load a sample, all you have to do is down here, obviously, see this load SMP. Click that load sample. And um, yeah, I'm going to find my, yeah, this is the actual folder. And I'm going to find that snare sample that I uh, cut. And uh, yeah, let's load that one called snare hit 2. I'm going to lower the level here because it's probably pretty loud. And this level knob actually blends with the original sample so I'll, I'll show you. I'll, I'll play it with the level all the way. I'll start with the level all the way down. It'll be the stock snare and then I'll bring in the, the um, other snare. Okay so there's the stock, stock snare. Now I'm going to bring in my snare. I'm actually blending the two snare samples already. Alright, now I'm going to add a second snare sample for that little fill at the end. Uh, one Having just one snare sample gets repetitive over there. So I'm going to add another snare sample. Lower the volume on it too. And uh, I'm going to play the track and adjust the uh, output levels here. 
this. And uh, if you can't tell, anything that goes over this little limit here is going to sample sample 1. And then anything under that is going to use sample 2, which is a sample I just added. So you really want to just adjust these to um, uh, adjust this little slider here to get the um, uh, your um, different snares. So let's go ahead and play this and adjust these to get our snare level set. And I, I just adjusted the pitch here. I adjusted the pitch on these to make it actually easier for me to tell the difference between the two. Alright, so I'm setting these back down to the same pitch as normal. So now we have sample replaced inside of Reaper here. Uh, if you have any questions about this or uh, anything about recording, go on, head on over to our website, www.limitless-studios.com. Uh, click on the forum here. It'll take you to our forum. And uh, you can chat in the general chat if you want. Uh, post any requests or ideas that you have. Um, we're taking daily tip requests and uh, as well as just regular uh, big uh, podcast video. Uh, requests as well and uh, if you have any um, questions about recording head on over to this instrument recording section and post there or if you'd even like us to listen to your mix or have other um, people on the forum listen to it post it in the mix advice and you can even advertise your band if you'd like so definitely come check out our community and uh, we'll see you in another video